the, the theme music. And so when I asked some of them, what song would you like to perform for the recital? Naturally, some of them picked Disney movies and others picked um, movies from our childhood. So um, listen and see if you can identify most of these themes.
Music by Alan Makin and released in 1992. It is the signature song from the Aladdin soundtrack and it has earned Academy Grammy and Golden Globe Awards. I chose this song because I love Disney.
days um, listening to my dad's LP vinyl records. I'm sure most of you who are young in here don't even know what I'm talking about. So kids, if you don't know what I'm talking about, ask your mom, dad, or your grandparents. Okay, so um, this next group will be playing Christmas pop music. These are songs that are made popular on the radio or like on those LP vinyl records like I was talking about um, on a turntable. Right? Um, some of these students might know these songs not because they listen to the radio or the turntables, but maybe they listen to Spotify or YouTube. And so I love the fact, again, that we're keeping our songs alive and the next generation can know Christmas pop music. Hello. Hello, my name is Titus. I'm going to play Holly Jolly Christmas. The composer is Johnny Marks, who wrote it in 1964. The song became famous because it was in the movie Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I chose this song because my dog is named Holly from Rudolph for Christmas.
many students about my songs and um, generally classics. But in this case, um, these students are teaching me their songs. In fact, these next two songs were released this year.
next group, and our next group will be students performing classical songs. Not necessarily Christmas, but we might hear some of them at, in the Christmas season at popular Christmas events that you and I might attend. So listen for those, and there will also be one classic that all of us might know, and one new classic. Enjoy. Hi, my name is Maddie. Today I will be playing March from the Nutcracker. This song was written by Tchaikovsky in 1892 for the Nutcracker Ballet. Even though it was written 120 years ago, every Christmas we listen to it and also watch the ballet.
eight prefaced to the Second Amendment by Beethoven. It was written in 1798 when he was 27 years old.
brings us to our last group of students. Can you believe it? It's been such a joy hearing everybody. Um, before we start with this section, we will hear a video clip of our student who couldn't make it to the recital but practiced very hard, so I want you all to enjoy it on video. So um, as we close our classical Christmas songs and you quietly read these final words on the screen after the video, um, I hope you will remember the reason for the season, and that is celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. This song was based on Luke 2.14, which says, Glory to God in highest heaven and peace on earth.
Orphanage in 1914, and this song has been played in many films and television shows, and has also been changed into many different genres of music, like classical, jazz, country, rock, and pop.
all of your children. I love them and I will continue to love them. So um, that uh, concludes our program, but I wanted to have one more special invitation and that's if you already don't, or you don't already have a church, we would love to have you join us on Sundays. We have two um, worship services. One starts at 8.30. 9, 8.30. 9 and 10.30. Oh, nine, sorry, we keep changing it. So 9 and then 10.30. And we have programs for children all the way from second grade all the way through college. So um, please come see me or see my husband if you um, would like to know more information. Now please go enjoy all the wonderful treats. Thank you, everybody.